All right, welcome back to another tutorial. So what we're going to be doing here today is we're going to be cloning this character's hat and placing it directly on top of this character's head, the same way the hat is placed on this character's head. We're going to be getting the C-frame offset of the hat from the character's head. Okay, and to do that, we're going to be using a method, a C-frame method called two two world space to get that offset. So let's start off by referencing both the reference dummy and the clone dummy. All right, and then we're gonna reference the hat. Okay, so let's start off by okay so this is where we're going to um, get the C frame offset so to do that we're going to do this local C frame offset equals um, okay so equals um, ref dummy dot head dot C frame to world space and then you're going to do hat dot C frame so how this works is um, when you do this, when you do part A dot C frame to world space, no, not to world space, sorry, to object space, to object space, right? So when you do that to object space um, and then B dot C frame, this here basically um, returns the, returns B's C frame offset from um, point a okay or c frame a that's what this does so this is going to return the offset c frame from b uh the offset c frame of b from a if that makes sense all right so let's keep that up here okay so now we're going to clone the hat and then we're going to do hat dot c frame this way we're going to actually apply the offset so hat dot c frame equals clone dummy dot head dot c frame times c frame offset so cf offset you gotta make sure you put the hat clone in workspace so hat clone hat clone um hat clone dot parent equals workspace okay and then yeah so if i go back and do this paste boom so you can see that the hat cloned the exact same way on this character's head of the way that it was on this character's head. So if I were to rotate the hat backwards, like so, right, it will do the exact same thing. It will get the uh, orientation since we're using C-frame, it's going to get the orientation as well. Um, same way if I were to just rotate this character like this or something. I did that the exact same thing. So it's gonna copy and paste it the exact same way on the clone dummy, right? Getting the offset, see from offset and stuff. This can be used for morphs and other stuff. Like, um, for example, I was using it for a, a, v, uh, a VFX um, tweening stuff like that, like copying it from a model, getting the end size and stuff. But yeah, you can use it for a lot of things. Um, if you have any questions, um, you can actually read the. So I'm gonna post a link to the. Um, post a link to the. The dev form going over to Object Space. So if you want to look more into that, you can check down below in the description. If this helped you, make make sure you leave a like and subscribe, and yeah, catch you later.